What is going on team, DJ here. Just like you, I've been so overwhelmed since Triarch released that astonishing presentation of Mob of the Dead. There is so much to go over, but the first thing I want to study here with you guys is the journal we see here. We are going to go page by page to decode this as best as we can, so all input by you guys is greatly appreciated. First page we are going over here is the picture of the glider. I'm assuming this is a glider because at the top left you see a ramp with an arrow following through it. It could be possible to use a ramp to get the glider airborne using a ramp on the roof and windy conditions at Alcatraz. Remember, Alcatraz is an island, so there's hardly any objects or buildings that obstruct the wind, especially on the roof. The cursive writing next to it says, we need a ramp, but where do we hide it? Well, on the roof, of course. This is entirely possible. Now, looking underneath, you see a couple crossed off images. It seems like the ideas were to build a plane with a motorized propeller in the front, similar fashion to the Wrights brothers used for the first flight. Another idea was crossed off was the air balloon, for whatever reason it wouldn't work. The curse of writing here states, things that can fly, birds, insects, balloons, clouds, airplanes, and circles. And the other text under it, I can't really seem to get it. It looks like ghosts, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then under it, it says, not going to work without a propeller with a sad face with angry eyes on it. So I'm sure that's not going to work either because they can't find any of those parts there. Now here's something I haven't seen anyone go over yet. This image next to the hot air balloon is crossed off and resembles an S shape on the top. This is highly interesting because if anyone has studied Da Vinci, this is one of his early drawings called the air screw. It was a contraption that needed four people to turn in a circular motion and it would literally dig into the air and fly. I'm not too sure why this is crossed off because this is a simple machine exactly like the glider. I'm almost certain that this would have been incredibly possible and whomever had wrote this journal was highly educated. But one bad thing about the air screw is that it would only go up. I'm not too sure it would have gone anywhere else. Let's look near the picture of the guard tower. The writing near it says, What about the boats? Wait until dark. Guard tower can see us. Maybe this releases the warden. If you are spotted outside by a guard tower, it could in fact trigger him. Just a theory of mine. Right underneath that is someone going into afterlife with the power box next to him. The cat has nine lives is also written here. Could you perhaps go into the afterlife only nine times in one game? Also, we understand now that in the afterlife, you can power up certain objects. This is probably one of the most crucial elements in the game, I'm certain, so keep it in mind. Next to all of this, we see the afterlife symbol or the medicine man eye. We are going to go into detail about that later. If you guys know Panaz, he in fact has a great write-up on that theory. Moving to the top right of the page, it shows the parts in building the glider. Cloth or fabric for the wings to catch the air. Note above it states, note to self, learn how to sew. An abundance of fabric is obviously required to create the wingspan of the glider. Conduit or metal piping for the frame of the contraption here. But this is what I'm incredibly sure of. These pieces here that are attached to each underwing of the plane are heaters. The text near them state, these heaters can get really hot. Shoot off this end. When the heaters are heated up, the pressure that builds up will be released by shooting off the ends. Using the force, we can thrust off the island. This piece in the middle that is connected to them power the heaters until a certain altitude, then they will safely glide to another landmass or just plunge into the water. Nonetheless, they will be off the island. Last but not least, this image of a zombie wrapped up in barbed wire is, some, is someone special. We have zombies, but this one is explained as... This one is different. It's like a moaning scarecrow and there's more of him. A scarecrow is a deity that cannot walk, but knows everything about the world. I'll leave it to that. Hope this got you guys thinking. Next page will be the next video. This is DJ with Lab Z and I'm out. Follow the research on Twitter at Bashar Zanal. Subscribe now.